Welcome to the Heal Yourself Show with Drs. Jonathan Chung and Greg Jean-Pierre of Keystone Chiropractic in Wellington and the Upper Cervical Institute of Florida. Dr. Chung and Dr. Jean-Pierre are chiropractors with a focus on correction of the upper cervical spine. Together they have worked with some of the leading doctors and health experts in the country and have helped thousands of patients regain their health from a variety of chronic health problems related to the structural alignment of the head and neck. Dr. Chung and Dr. Jean-Pierre have authored and published in peer-reviewed scientific journals. They've also been featured speakers around the country on topics ranging from head injury, chronic pain, spinal health, and fitness. Their goal is to teach you how to unlock the doctor within and heal yourself. Join them today as they share their passion for serving families and helping people who could not get better through traditional and alternative means. Call the Heal Yourself Show at 888-565-1470. Good afternoon and welcome to another edition of the Heal Yourself Radio Broadcast. Oh, my name is Dr. Gregory Jean-Pierre from Upper Cervical Institute of Florida. And as always, I have Dr. John Chung from Keystone Chiropractic in Wellington. And again, the premise of the show is that the body is a self-healing, self-regulating, self-adapting mechanism. We want to teach you about how to tap into the doctor within to allow the body to gently heal itself over time. Uh, again, this is a live show, so please give us a call and interact with us at one 888 or you can watch us live on, on the internet at HealYourselfRadio.com. And a lot of the shows that we've done in the past is archived there, so you're more than welcome to um, to go in and look at it. As also, um, don't forget to take advantage of our offer. Uh, if you call during the show today, you get a $100 gift card towards um, your first visit in the, in the office. So let's get right into it. Today we're talking about um, TMJ. So Dr. Chung? Well, Dr. Greg, one of the most common problems that we're starting to see in our offices these days, I'd say, is dysfunction of the jaw, or otherwise known as temporal mandibular joint disorder. And people usually call it TMJ, some people call it TMD, but the one thing that we do know is that people are coming in complaining of intense jaw facial pain, um, they'll have cracking of their jaw, it becomes difficult to eat. There's just a whole wide range of symptoms that are tied to this, and a lot of people's lives are really affected by it. Yeah, and again, um, one of the things that I see in my office as well, a lot, a lot of time, uh, TMJ has can cause so many different things that people may not be coming with TMJ uh, symptoms, so to speak, but they have a lot of things, and I'm sure you, one of the things that we see in the office is tinnitus, a lot of earring, um, um, ringing in the ear, and I know there's a lot of people out there that suffer from that, but it can also be a side effect, so to speak, of a TMJ, a temporal medibular joint disorder uh, problem. Yeah, that's absolutely right, and another thing that tends to happen with a lot of TMJ problems is people grind their teeth at night, night. so I know that's a big issue, and people also start having problems with sleep apnea. So we're going to be talking about some of the experts that really work with um, TMJ disorders and some of their related consequences. And we're also going to be talking about how we influence TMJ and how we've been able to help a lot of these people that are suffering with this problem too. And I guess that's the bottom line. Because again, we're talking about it because we do see a lot of these patients in our office and a lot of them are getting great results. Um, But what are some of the common symptoms that TMJ is associated with? And we just mentioned um, grinding on the teeth. We talked about, uh, um, you know, the hearing problem. What else can, can, can cause be caused by um, TMJ? Well, one of the big things that people have complaints about are headaches. People come in with tension headaches, migraines. Um, It's very rare that they would see a TMJ patient that doesn't have headaches of some sort. Um, Another problem that they have is um, a persistent clicking inside the jaw, especially when they're opening their mouth. And there's a lot of times where people just feel like their jaw doesn't open and close correctly and it just feels weird so there's almost this unsteady movement of their mouth when they're uh, either talking or chewing. Yeah, and that that's correct. A lot, a lot of time, uh, people, t- t- along with the tinnitus, you t- tend to have like a fullness in the ear, and it's just annoying. Like if you feel like you need to to drain the ear, and again, a lot of these things 
by you know it's it, it's under the umbrella of TMJ but a lot of times the side effects are what bring people in and we already had we did several shows on on headaches and we talked about ear infection and even kids with, with ear infection so what are some of the things that can cause and let, I guess we can get into that right now that can cause somebody to have a TMJ or or, or dysfunction of the temporal mandibular joint uh, problem well there's some easy to see ones like you know if you ever seen a boxer or someone well, that fights <laughs> and you, someone that gets takes a lot of impact to the face is going to see um, a lot of TMJ problems. Um, probably the biggest thing that we're seeing them now is, of course, when someone has an atlas subluxation and that affects the jaw muscles and that's going to cause TMJ. And to be quite honest, there's a lot of people that just honestly don't really know why some people will spontaneously start to have it. Um, it's related to a lot of chronic pain syndromes as well. A lot of people with fibromyalgia will report pain in their jaw. And a lot of people with whiplash have a lot of problems in their jaw too, which uh, links together really well with what we do with the chiropractic nuca system. Yeah, and I think um, pretty much along with everything that we spoke um, throughout this show is that trauma plays an important an important role in, in trigeminal neuralgia. Because if you think of, uh, of the trigeminal, um, well not trigeminal neuralgia, I'm talking about temporal, temporal medibular joint. If you think about um, the anatomy of it and how it's there it's literally two bones that are being supported by a bunch of muscles and surrounded by one of the big nerve which is the trigeminal nerves so when you have trauma or one of the side of the muscles of, of, of one side is weak or um, the nerve is not working properly then you don't have the proper balance or the proper alignment of the jaw and that in, in can cause a lot of issues so trauma can be a, a big key uh, and sometimes just like we talked about it doesn't have to be a big car accident it can be something minimal but can shift out of position and every time you close your mouth or open your mouth, the misalignment there can cause a clicking, can cause the, the, the headache, over time can cause the grinding of the teeth. And it's all about exactly what we talk about with the Atlas. It's a misalignment of that that can cause some of these issues. I think it's also pe important for people to understand, too, that TMJ can come in a couple of varieties. There's some people that have a very real structural deformity in their jaw like if they were born with one side of their jaw that was bigger than the other some people may have a disc that bursts inside their jaw uh, but I find that a big majority of people have a functional problem in the way that the jaw moves and operates and that's the big thing that we can come into play and help now, how about, how about um, when we talk about trauma, what about somebody that's been, that has a lot of dental work, when they have to be with, in that position with their mouth open or, you know, for a long period of time, and in that position where they're putting pressure on the outlets and doing all that um, work in the jaw, is it possible that they may end up with a um, misalignment of that jawbone creating temporary mandibular joint pain? Oh, absolutely. I mean, the more stress that you put on the joint, the greater the opportunity there is for dysfunction. I mean, there are times times where uh, just talking a lot you feel your jaw start to right, wear out right. and then when you're exploring those large ranges of motion when you're getting dental work done and you have to hold that position for an hour at a time then yeah that's gonna leave yourself susceptible mm -hmm. to a slight little twinge which can set you down the path towards the chronic pain of TMJ um, I know there's there's certainly some great stories of healing out there um, involving TMJ and one of the things that I'd like to share today is just talk about the story with uh, uh, you know James Tomasi where mm -hmm. he had a consequence of a trigeminal nerve problem in TMJ but it ended up being um, expressed more so as trigeminal neuralgia. Um, you're interested in sharing some oh, of that's James's a, story? <laughs> that's an amazing story and uh, I wish it was here to share this story with, with, with you guys but James Tomasi um, literally if you know what trigeminal neuralgia is, the trigeminal um, nerve is one of the big nerves that attaches that comes straight from the brain and down to the brain stem and goes straight to to the face. Now, trigeminal neuralgia is also termed the suicide disease because most people with trigeminal neuralgia, it's like having a lightning bolt pain in your face that doesn't go away 24-7. And he was suffering from that and he did pretty much everything possible. He took all the drugs, went, went everywhere really. And he was just had it. He just couldn't take it anymore. And just like everybody else, he really, um, you know, had and in his mind that he was going to commit to a suicide. And one day, he decided today was the day he was going to do that. Luckily, his wife um, went out down to the market and um, was listening to radio and heard about a, a structural chiropractor, which does what we do, that was given a commercial talking about trigeminal neuralgia and the, the ability for them to get um, better. And she went and told him about it. And it's like, we, I made an appointment for you. We're going today. And he's like, well, you know what? 
he said to himself, I'm going to kill myself tonight anyway. Let me, you know, make her happy and just go, even though I know there's no way a chiropractor is going to be able to fix that. But to make his long story short, he went in, they did all the evaluation, and they adjusted him. And like I said, trigeminal neuralgia pain is pain that's there 24-7, like lightning bolt pain. And after the adjustment, for I think he said for about a minute or so, the pain was gone. And the pain came back. But that window just gave him hope that, wait, if after one adjustment and that pain was able to dissipate for one minute, I wonder what would happen if I followed through and kept on going. And it just so happened that today he travels all over the world speaking about upper cervical and uh, trigeminal neuralgia. So, and, and I have a few of his books in, in the office. If anybody's interested, I'm, I'm more than willing to share or give one away. But again, that's how powerful it is with the C1 vertebra and how can that can affect the uh, trigeminal neuralgia and uh, t the TMJ and balancing that can actually release pressure off the trigeminal nerve to allow the body to balance itself. Yeah, it's an incredible story and it goes back to one of the original tenets of chiropractic is that the body is a self-healing, self-regulating organism and as long as we remove interference to that organism then the body has this incredible ability to heal itself. And one of the other things to remember is that the body is connected in so many ways. So we like to separate the body in all these different parts. So when people have arm pain, they want people to look at their arm. When people have jaw pain, you want them to look at the jaw. When people have back pain, they want them to look in the back. But the truth of the matter is, if we are really truly holistic beings, then if we do something to one part of the body, then it has to have an impact on another part of the body. Now we just have to find a way to make that the most effective by finding the part of the body that has the greatest impact on every other structure of the body. And, and, and the way you just put it makes, makes sense because that's where I think the biggest failure of medicine is because they give you something from the outside in to actually heal something. But when the last time have you taken a medication and that medication went straight to that specific site that you wanted it and nowhere else. So that's where the term side effect comes in because it's going to affect your entire body. So instead of looking at ourselves as parts, uh, we are a whole and by f finding where the point is that we can actually take the interference out, the body will heal itself. It happens all the time. An example I usually give to the office is somebody just died right now and, you know, there's a cut. It's not the neurosporin. You can put neurosporin, you can put bender, you can put whatever you, you, you want to put on, on that person. They're never going to heal. Versus if we have a cut here and we're alive and you put nothing on it, the body's going to heal itself. So it's not a lack of medication or anything like that. It's removing interference to allow the body to heal itself. Yeah, and that's one of the big things is that there is our bodies are super intelligent and just having that intelligence within the body and tapping into that intelligence and letting it go through the nervous system the way it was designed is really where a lot of healing comes from because there's so many people where you know they have chronic conditions they have chronic disease and they're labeled untreatable and we get a lot of those people who come into the office and within a matter of weeks and months, their life completely changes. So I always like to say that there's no such thing as an incurable disease or just incurable people. Yeah, there's always hope. There's not a single disease or symptom known to men that somebody hasn't recovered from. So if you are able to find out where the interference is within the body, by removing it, the body should do the best to its capability to actually heal itself over time. And we see that time again and again in our office. And it's not, not that we cure anything. The only thing that we do is remove interference to step aside and allow the body to do what it was designed to do. You're absolutely right. And we're going to take a quick commercial break right here, but I actually want to hear from some of our audience and really tell us about some of the things you've been going through. Call us at 1-88-565-1470 and ask us a question, leave a comment, and we'll interact with you. We'll take a quick commercial break, but then we'll talk a little bit more about TMJ and how we can fix this problem for you. When was the last time you had your atlas checked? When your head and neck shift out of place, it can actually affect your whole body. Do you suffer from migraines, TMJ, dizziness, or chronic back and neck pain? If so, you may have an atlas problem and you need a NUCA chiropractor. NUCA allows for a gentle and precise correction of your spine without any popping, twisting, or cracking associated with conventional manipulations. Call Keystone Chiropractic at 561-247-0044 and schedule a free consultation. Dr. Chung is one of approximately 300 doctors in the world trained in the NUCA protocol of spinal correction. 
Stop suffering. When your doctors can't determine the problem, you need to contact Keystone Chiropractic. We won't ask you to believe in chiropractic or commit to a lifetime of treatment. What we will do is show you what normal is and we'll tell you how to get there again. We'll show you using precision technology that your spine has changed for the better, even after one correction. Then we'll show you the path for keeping it that way. If you are tired of constantly patching the problem and you're looking for a long-term solution that you can both feel and see for yourself, then a NUCA office is the right place for you. Once the foundation has been fixed, then we'll teach you how to keep it that way through customized recommendations designed for your spine so that the problem doesn't come back. What do you have to lose? Call today to schedule your complimentary consultation. If you call during the hour, we'll give you a $100 gift certificate to use towards your first visit. No questions asked. No commitments, just a conversation to see if we can help. Two convenient locations in Boca Raton and West Palm Beach. Call Keystone Chiropractic today and end your days of suffering with chronic pain. Call us at 561-247-0044. Check out the website, HealYourselfRadio.com. That's HealYourselfRadio.com. And we're back. Welcome back to the Heal Yourself Radio Show. This is Dr. Jonathan Chung. As always, I'm with my partner in crime, Dr. Gregory Jean-Pierre, and today we're talking about TMJ disorders. So we got a couple of great questions while we're on our break, and people want to know, well, how does working on the neck really impact someone with TMJ? Right, and, and that, that was an awesome question that we're discussing here. Uh, but let, let's really get into the anatomy of uh, on, on TMJ. And just like I said before, you have these two bones, which is like a hinge that actually attaches to, to, the, to the skull to allow the mouth to go up and down. Um, alongside of that, you have different muscles and a very complicated system of muscles that actually allows that to happen, the opening and closing. And when we talk about how we address that and how we go into, you know, we don't go into the brain or anything like that, what we're doing is actually making sure that everything is aligned properly. More specifically, as nuca doctors, what we're concerned about is that C1 or atlas vertebra, because pretty much most of the neurology coming out of the brain to the rest of the body has to go through the skull, then through that atlas to get to the rest of the body. And the trigeminal nerve, which is the big nerve that controls the majority of the face, also goes through that. There's no spine-related um, thing with the trigeminal neuralgia. So just like I usually give an example of the hose, if you step on a hose, less water actually comes out. But again, the pressure increases. So the same thing when we talk about trigeminal neuralgia, tempor um, any disorders with the, with the um, temporal bones, that literally can put pressure on those nerves that exits through um, the skull specific of the trigeminal neuralgia. The brain actually excites that nerve, so you get that sensation, the hypersensitivity of the trigeminal neuralgia that constantly there until you remove, remove that pressure. And as nuclear doctors, we don't go into surgery, we don't do anything. What we do is um, calculate the precise misalignment and give a precise adjustment to bring that outlet back into proper position to release the pressure to allow the brain to communicate 100% over time, thus um, relieving the pain and pressure. Yeah, that's a great explanation, Dr. JP. And, you know, one of the things that's important to remember is that, you know, there's a part of the, the spinal cord where every single signal comes out of, and that's the brain stem. And the brain stem also flows into the top part of the spinal cord, which is called, um, there's a thing called the trigeminal cervical sure, nucleus. Right. And that goes from your C1 vertebra down to your C3 mm -hmm. vertebra. And people are just wondering, well, you know, pain's in my face, mm -hmm. and it's in my jaw, and it's in my head. Why are you just looking at my neck? And the reason I tell them is that, well, those nerves that go into your face, that go into your jaw, and go into your, um, your head, all actually start out out of this structure at the top of your neck. And if your spine is twisted, then it's gonna twist the spinal cord too. And when it twists that spinal cord, then all those signals that are trying to get to the face and the head and the jaw, they get blocked up. And until we remove that interference, that problem that's blocking those signals from getting to where they need to go, then you can do all the things to the face you want, you can do all the things to the jaw you want, you're not getting to the cause of the problem. Sure. Yeah, and, and, and along with that, we had another quick question that really doesn't have anything to do with trigeminal neuralgia, but it touched back onto what we were saying as far as the brain communicating properly and that outlet's being out of position. One of the callers talked about how do we decrease 
inflammation. Um, I, I think she was more specifically referring to like in the case of diabetes or or somebody that have inflammation in the feet and stuff like that. So how can we, as Nuka doctors, address that outlet and reduce inflammation in the body? Well, here's a good, beautiful thing about it. I'm not going to reduce your inflammation. Your body is going to reduce your inflammation for you. One of the things that's important to remember is that the nervous system can be runs every single system in your body. Nothing happens in your body without the choice of your brain. Mm -hmm. And what your brain also works on is the immune system. People used to think that the immune system and the nervous system were two completely mm -hmm. separate entities that didn't talk to each other. Well, now that we're finding out is that they use the same chemical messengers to communicate with each other. And what happens is when there's a disconnect between the immune system and the nervous system, then the immune system will just start running rampant and doing whatever it need, wants to do. And at times, that may lead to autoimmune problems. At other times, it might mean that the swelling in your knee or your sprained ankle might not go away. So until we reconnect the nervous system back to the immune system again, then inflammation can run rampant. So it's not my job to turn down your inflammation because inflammation is a it's natural normal, part right. of the healing process. Our job is to make sure that inflammation is happening appropriately at the right time in the right place. And that all starts with having a balanced nervous system. Yeah, and, and that, that's a great answer. And a lot of time when I tell patients, you really got to change your mindset and how uh, you ask questions. Because a lot of time people come in the office with a specific symptoms, a specific disease. And of course, like, Doc, how do I get rid of this? Um, when the proper question is, is that why do I have it in the first place? Because if you understand um, why do you have it, a lot of time the disease or the symptoms can be the cure. And just by removing the interference, the body's trying to heal itself. So, and um, just to segue, um, next next week, uh, d you guys definitely, definitely need to tune in because we're really going to go back in time and really break down what chiropractic is and debunk some of the um, biggest um, secret in healthcare. So we really not going to talk about the specific symptoms or disease because we've been getting questions from everything. We're going to talk about the overhaul system, how the uh, how the body works, what is health, how does chiropractic f uh, fit into health, and some of the myth out there about chiropractic and medicine. So definitely make sure you tune in next time um, for, for that show because that's really going to be interesting. And going back to our TMJ problem here, I just wanted to share you know, a couple of quick testimonials because I actually work with a TMJ expert. They're um, a series of dentists that are called um, neuromuscular dentists. And their whole goal is to make the jaw work better. And they do some phenomenal yeah. things with TMJ. However, there are times where, you know, just like in our offices where people will get partially better, there's something else blocking their way. They co-manage cases of TMJ with us in our office. And they just had one come in about uh, three months ago. I was taking care of a lady who was referred by a neuromuscular dentist. Um, you know, she was having you know severe migraine headaches. Her jaw would just violently react whenever she was underneath under stress. And we know that stress is one of the biggest factors in people just going down a chronic pain cycle. So she came in, she came in for an evaluation, and her head was so far off the center of her body that I had to look at the X-ray a couple times just to make sure. And we knew that this is creating a problem in the way that her brainstem was communicating with her body. So over the course of about two or three weeks, doing about three or four adjustments, we actually started, started to see the neck creep back closer toward the center of her body. And along with that, her migraines just started disappearing right off the spot, right off the bat. It was amazing. And then over the course of about two months, once her spine was stable, we actually started to notice that her TMJ problems started to improve as well. And as her TMJ started to improve, then the migraines also started to go away. She was opening her jaw better. And all these things that used to stress her out and go send her down that pain cycle actually started to decrease as well. So it's not necessarily about just trying to go in and treat the pain and eliminating the stress. We need to prime the nervous system to be better prepared to deal to with deal the stresses with of life. Yeah, that is awesome. And again, it, it's it, when we talk about how the body works and when we talk about specifically now TMJ remember what I said a lot of the muscles that attaches to those two bones are activated and you gotta understand what 
controls muscles and throughout your entire body what controls muscles are the nerves so that's why we're addressing the nervous system we're not worried about anything else because by releasing pressure off the nervous system the nerves are able to better communicate with the brain and the body is able to better heal itself over time so it's not us trying to fix TMJ trying to fix anything it's really us trying to fine-tune everything and move in interference little by little to allow the body to do what it was designed to do to heal itself so just like there's muscles in the t on temporal mandibular joint by adjusting the nerves, then the brain's able to communicate and actually fine tune things to allow the body to be able to do what it was designed to do. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I mean, you know, you could go back through and ask me, and you know, I'll tell you, like, all right, there's the pterygoid muscles that are in your jaw, yeah, there's a mass in there, there's a bucinator, and all these other things. But what but, controls those? Yeah, it's the cranial <laughs> nerve number five, the trigeminal <laughs> nerve. And, you know, if you want someone to work on those muscles, there's certainly, you know, massage therapists that can gently work on those muscles for you, and, you know, you can see the neuromuscular dentist to kind of dovetail into that but if you don't have that brain in control of your body then it's a recipe for problems to continue coming back over and over again and my goal isn't to have people be reliant on treatment I really want people to have health freedom and that kind of just fits in with the theme of you know freedom in general with 4th of July coming right around the corner. <laughs> yeah, the freedom to allow your body to do what it was designed to do by removing interference. That's just uh, that's just an awesome analogy. And speaking of that uh, uh, treatment, I have a, a patient in my office that um, came in for the same thing, trigeminal not, um, um, TMJ pain, but she was also having horrible, horrible neck pain. So one of the things that they were doing as far as giving her some relief was giving her um, Botox shots. So they would give her Botox shots on, on, on the neck, but also in the jaw because that would actually numb some of the nerves so she would be able to do things and also she grind her teeth a lot especially at night which would lead into headaches and stuff like that um, when I started seeing her we did all the x-rays and I did find a, a great misalignment of that C1 vertebra um, but again she just had the shot so um, as I adjust her she couldn't really tell whether it was working or not because if you ever seen somebody with Botox in the face their facial expression is they, they, they I mean they don't move so that's how her face was but as the Botox started to wear out and she started freaking out she's like um yeah literally the last three weeks and at this point i'm usually in pain and she just kind of noticed that the pain wasn't as great and the, uh, the 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 binding at night wasn't as as great and now i mean i've been seeing her for uh, three months now and she hasn't taken a botox shot and the body's responding really well the neck pain started dissipating um the jaw is, is starting to realign by itself but the great thing is i never touched the jaw the only thing i, I addressed was the c1 vertebra <coughs> fixing the outlets getting back into position and the body was able to realign everything else just by itself it's kind of funny that you just brought up Botox because I actually just read an article the <laughs> other day that was talking about how the number one most dangerous toxin out of all the bacteria Botulinum. out there is actually from botulinum <laughs> so the Botox that we're injecting into us is actually derived from one of the most toxic Dang substances um, and most dangerous bacteria that is known on the planet <laughs> Yeah, and again, they, they may think there's no side effect, but there's no such thing. And once you introduce something foreign in the body, the body's going to recognize it at, as foreign, so you may not get the reaction right away. But in the long run, I talk, uh, when I do my lectures, I talk about things like cancer. Um, did you know just getting food poisoning today and the body not eliminating that can lead to cancer? Because that thing's been there for 12 years and it's actually creating a lot of issues in your body. And all of a sudden, you get something as ridiculous as that. So again... I'm not knocking, well, I am. Because when you're putting a toxin in your body, and most people, are, I'm sure, is doing it for pain. Most people are doing it for just beauty. And, you know, there's nothing, you know, you can have the outside beauty, but in the long run, it's creating a lot of issues internally that you're not aware of now. But 5, 10, 20 years later, you will uh, suffer the consequences. Yeah, there's just no doubt about it. I mean, <clears throat> why are we running away from easy to recover problems? So why have we had this culture of, oh, we have a fever of 100 degrees, we better lower it instead of letting the fever kill off the organism that it was supposed to and letting our body develop strength and give the immune system some run-throughs in order to get it stronger. Why can't we allow our body to 
recover from things a little bit more naturally so we can build up that strength instead of using medicine as a crutch. Yeah, well, then let's not talk about that because that's what we're going to talk about next week. So if you listen and tune in next week, we're going to teach you the, the how really the body works and some of the things that happen naturally that the body is going to heal itself over time. And one of the stats I usually like to throw out there, and we talk about that again, and I think we posted something on the Heal Yourself uh, website um, that says um, the the U.S. is about 5% of the world population, but yet we consume 65% of all drugs produced. What that means is if you were to put all the countries in the world combined, we use more drugs than any of them. But yet when it comes to life expectancies, we number 41. We spend, I think uh, I just read, $8,000 per person annually on health care, quote unquote, but yet we're one of the sickest countries because we don't understand what health truly is. We've taken the outside-in approach, getting the medication, looking for a quick fix when there's no such thing. So um, let's take a quick commercial break and we'll be right back. When was the last time you had your atlas checked? When your head and neck shift out of place, it can actually affect your whole body. Do you suffer from migraines, TMJ, dizziness or chronic back and neck pain? If so, you may have an atlas problem and you need a NUCA chiropractor. NUCA allows for a gentle and precise correction of your spine without any popping, twisting or cracking associated with conventional manipulations. Call Keystone Chiropractic at 561-247-0044 and schedule a free consultation. Dr. Chung is one of approximately 300 doctors in the world trained in the NUCA protocol of spinal correction. Stop suffering. When your doctors can't determine the problem, you need to contact Keystone Chiropractic. We won't ask you to believe in chiropractic or commit to a lifetime of treatment. What we will do is show you what normal is and we'll tell you how to get there again. We'll show you using precision technology that your spine has changed for the better, even after one correction. Then we'll show you the path for keeping it that way. If you are tired of constantly patching the problem and you're looking for a long-term solution that you can both feel and see for yourself, then a NUCA office is the right place for you. Once the foundation has been fixed, then we'll teach you how to keep it that way through customized recommendations designed for your spine so that the problem doesn't come back. What do you have to lose? Call today to schedule your complimentary consultation. If you call during the hour, we'll give you a $100 gift certificate to use towards your first visit. No questions asked. No commitments, just a conversation to see if we can help. Two convenient locations in Boca Raton and West Palm Beach. Call Keystone Chiropractic today and end your days of suffering with chronic pain. Call us at 561-247-0044. Check out the website, HealYourselfRadio.com. That's HealYourselfRadio.com. And welcome back. On the break, we did have a, a, a caller, uh, Robert. Unfortunately, we got disconnected. So, Robert, give us a call back. Uh, we're on the air waiting for your question. The number is 1-888-565-1470. one 565 1470 I think one of the things that um, we got a lot of interest in and um, people are ex interested in talking about is um, addressing some of the problems in healthcare that we have right now. So I think that's just something good that we should elaborate on. So we were talking about when we left that the United States spends the most out of all countries on healthcare. So the biggest amount of our GDP goes to healthcare, and yet we get very mediocre results. So <clears throat> let's talk about that a little bit. So we're 41st overall in the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and not to interrupt, but before you answer that, um, I think uh, I believe Robert just called back. Uh, can we get Robert on the line? Robert from Coconut Creek. How are you, sir? Hello? Oh, okay. Um, while, while we get Robert here, let me answer that question. And t the, the question that you ask is about health care. And I think that's the misnomer because when it comes to healthcare, we have no idea what that is. Really, we call it healthcare, but it's a sick care system. Most people, when they go to see the doctor, when do they go see him? They go see the doctor when they're sick. And you know, and one of the great things I talk about um, when people come in with with insurance, uh, people want to use their 
health insurance, but just like a, a, a car insurance. Do you use your car insurance when the car is running fine, or do you use your car insurance when the car had an accident and everything is broken? The same thing as life insurance. Do you use life insurance when you're alive or when you're dead? So health insurance is really not for health. It's for you when, you, when you're sick. So when you have a, a you know, you need surgery and that stuff, that's when you use your, your, your health insurance. So we have a misunderstanding what health truly is because health is having all your cells functioning at 100% at all times. Uh, if you went and do a quick survey and go to the mall or a crowded place and ask people whether they're healthy or whether they're sick, majority of people will tell you, you know what, I'm perfectly healthy, but what are they basing that on? They're basing that on how they feel. And as we know, a lot of people may feel great, and today you drop dead of a heart attack. So the United States is focusing on sick care. They focus on pathology. It's focusing on symptoms and disease, but they're not focusing on the cause of the problem because once you focus on the cause of the problem, just like we talked about and how we do it in the nuclear world, we don't care. I don't care if somebody came in with back pain, neck pain, addict, MS, Bach. I don't care about that. What I care about is whether you have an interference with the nervous system because I know when you have an interference with the nervous system, that's the cause that can lead to some of these things. So until we focus on the cause, we're always going to be last and we're always going to be spending a lot of money chasing symptoms and disease rather than the cause itself. And I feel like a lot of it is just a big part of why we spend so much money is we grossly overreact to things that human beings have been designed to fight off for millions and millions of years. And for example, one of the things that people freak out about nowadays that, you know, I was never scared of at all growing up is chicken pox. Oh, yeah. So, you know, people are like terrified of chicken pox nowadays when this is something where they used to have chicken pox parties back when we were kids. <laughs> And we used to try to get everyone Everybody chicken gets, pox all yeah. at the same time so you know our immune system can adapt to it and get better. So we overreact to things that are seemingly harmless now and we overtreat and it causes even more problems. Uh, looks like we got Robert back on the line. So Robert from Coconut Creek, how's it going, Robert? Hey, good yourself. I'm doing good, Rob. Tell me what's up. Um, I I'm, I'm really curious. Um I know lately, um I have like these weird back spasms kind of in the lower back. I was really curious um, as far as maybe preventative measures, things I might be able to do kind of like around the home or anything like that that I might be doing wrong or I just don't know about. And Robert, just like we always talked about, before you figure out, um, you know what, you know what's going on, what's what what's you know, talking about back spasm, you got to figure out why do you have the spasm? Because the body gives you a spasm because of something's going on. One of the things I always talk about right. is when we get the pain, that's a signal telling you that something is wrong. So you have to be able to um, figure out what's going on first. Once you figure that out, taking care of the spasms um, will help. So. Again, some of the things that you can men you can do is just posture is key. You got to make sure you maintain the proper posture. You got to make sure that mm -hmm. you know everything that you do throughout your life, whether you're on the computer or you know you're sleeping and the way you sleep and all that stuff is you maintaining that right. posture so the body can actually be able to heal itself. Because a lot of time, if you in front of the computer all day sitting wrong or doing exercise in a wrong um, position, the body's going to create spasms right. to tell you something is going on. So you got to find out what's the yeah. cause of it. And if you ever had an accident, injury, or fall, there might be a greater cause where there's an actual misalignment uh, creating some of these things. So my suggestion to you would be first uh, come in, let's, ha let's check you out um, really well. And if there's something that's going on biomechanically, we can fix that. And then we can teach you how to prevent it from, um, um, for the next time. Okay. Thank you. Great. Thanks, Rob. Thanks, man. Take care. Bye. Yeah, and um, just, just like I told Robert, uh, you know, so so often we look for how do we get rid of this? How, you know, how those are signs. Uh, one of the examples <coughs> I usually give, let's say we're on the radio right now and all of a sudden the fire alarm goes off and it's annoying and we can't do the radio show. And, you know, one of the technicians he was like you know hold on let me go take off the battery you know they cut take off the battery how easy how, how would we feel to be sitting here and no alarm but like wait maybe there's a fire um you know what's going on but when we take the medications or we look at how to get rid of the pain or the spasms we got to figure out what's going on first because there might be a fire going on and the spasm is really the 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 you know the fire alarm telling you something is wrong so you don't want to take out the battery you don't want to take out the spasm you want to take out the cause of the spasm 
spasm, then the spasm will be gone. So that's why I always tell people, don't look into the problem or the, or the, or the symptoms itself because the symptoms is a natural reaction or the body telling that something's going on. Find out why you have it because once you do that, then you'll be able to take care of the, the symptoms itself. I think a big part too is just recognizing what's a natural healthy response to a problem and what isn't. So for example, in our office we talk a lot about you know, when someone goes out at night and you know, they eat something bad and then they spend an hour on you know, the porcelain throne just <laughs> getting rid of everything that they just ate. Now we always challenge people, like, is that a healthy response or is that an unhealthy response? Is that person sick or is that a healthy response to what they've been going through? Yeah, that, that's the same thing we do in our office because like, um, if you get food poisoning and you go home and you have um, you know, diarrhea, upset stomach, which sounds like a commercial for some kind of drug, but if you ask the right question, why do I have this in the first place, all, this, all of a sudden you realize, wait, I had food poisoning. So that's my body trying to get rid of stuff. So I'm not going to take anything to stop it. But if you ask the wrong questions, like, oh, my God, I'm throwing up. I have diarrhea. How do I stop this? And you think the diarrhea and the, and the vomiting is a bad thing, then you, stop, you start taking the drugs and you stop the diarrhea. And guess what? That poison that you just ingested to live in your body. And, again, it may not cause issues right away. But once that poison starts going around and, and becoming stronger and stronger, five, ten years down the line, you may have something really <coughs> significant. So again, always ask the right question. Find out what's the cause rather than focusing on the symptoms itself. And you can even take that back towards like a musculoskeletal problem too. So, you know, there are times where if I'm lifting heavy weights and my back is sore from, you know, lifting too much at CrossFit, you know, maybe that's your body's way of just saying, hey, Maybe you need to take you a day off or two. Off. Exactly. <laughs> but if we just, you know, I'm not a professional athlete, so there's no incentive for me to continue pushing past that. Mm -hmm. Maybe there is for a f professional football player. But if you're just an average guy and you're hurting and you decide, you know what, I'm going to take an aspirin so I can shut this pain signal off so I can go back in the gym and lift more weights, and all of a sudden you lift that heavy weight and then you're out of commission for two to three weeks, you know, you could blame the fact that you were lifting on the problem, or you could blame the fact that, you know what, I didn't really listen, yeah, listen to my well. body, yeah. and I caused this upon myself. And, and again, people, the body is smart. It's been said that um, the, the capacity of your brain and nervous system, literally, you would, if you were to build a computer to do what your brain do on a daily basis, you would have to build it as high as the Empire State Building. And it would take the Hudson River to cool that computer. Um, so every day, I mean, one of the stuff we talk about, um, your heart beats 100,000 times a day. And while it's doing that, uh, you, you're killing about 10 million red blood cells each second and the body's replacing it. All that stuff is happening simultaneously. Imagine, if you will, all of a sudden you had to think of um, your heart beating for it to happen. I mean, we'll all be dead within an hour, but your body's constantly doing that all the time. So you got to keep in mind the body has an innate wisdom within it to actually allow the body to heal itself. So by stepping aside, removing interference, and interference can come in many forms, and you know what you eat can create interference. The way you think can create interference. And of course, we talk about a lot, trauma can create interference. So by removing those, step aside, let the body heal itself. Absolutely. So. Of course, we have those natural responses which are good for the body, and then we have the unnatural responses, which is an indicator that there's a significant problem that needs to be acted upon. And whenever I comp make that comparison, <clears throat> I always talk about, you know, if someone just had a neck pain or a back pain for a few days, you know, it's not as big of a deal. But when someone has pain that lasts for months and years, there's obviously something that is blocking your body's normal ability to heal itself. Because when we get injured, we should be able to recover from it. But chronic pain is a sign that there's something that's blocking our ability to recover. Or something that you've been ignoring for a long time. You know, chronic pain is usually what I say, it's usually acute pain that's been ignored or been you know, put down with medication and over time the body's giving you a stronger signal that okay hey hey listen you need to fix that so again I mean we're getting a great discussion here. and a lot of these things like I said um, next week please tune in if uh, and, and the best the best way to do it next week listen to the radio but um, watch us live on heal yourself radio website because we're gonna have some pictures and some slides that you wanna you want to take a look at so tell your friends tell your loved ones that um, next week Thursday at 5 p.m. Um, right here is, is 
is the place to be because we're really going to open your eyes about some we're really going to dive into how your body actually work and talk about you know what's the difference between the medical model and the chiropractic model and then we're going to talk about some different things about how can nuca actually help because we've, we've seen patients with ms parkinson fibromyalgia adrenalinaraja neck pain back pain headaches sciatica you name it and people are wondering it's like wait you're a chiropractor um but in, in not even that, you're actually touching one bone. How are you going to be able to help some of these things? So we're really going to go back and really go over into detail exactly how the body works and how. So make sure you tune in. And again, it's an interactive um, um, talk here. So make sure you call 1-888-565-1470. And we're going to go ahead and take a quick commercial break. When we come back, we'll get more into detail about this amazing nuca procedure that Dr. Greg and I do. And we're going to see if it can help some of the most chronic health conditions that some of you may have concerns about. When was the last time you had your atlas checked? When your head and neck shift out of place, it can actually affect your whole body. Do you suffer from migraines, TMJ, dizziness, or chronic back and neck pain? If so, you may have an atlas problem, and you need a NUCA chiropractor. NUCA allows for a gentle and precise correction of your spine without any popping, twisting, or cracking associated with conventional manipulations. Call Keystone Chiropractic at 561-247-0044 and schedule a free consultation. Dr. Chung is one of approximately 300 doctors in the world trained in the NUCA protocol of spinal correction. Stop suffering. When your doctors can't determine the problem, you need to contact Keystone Chiropractic. We won't ask you to believe in chiropractic or commit to a lifetime of treatment. What we will do is show you what normal is and we'll tell you how to get there again. We'll show you using precision technology that your spine has changed for the better, even after one correction. Then we'll show you the path for keeping it that way. If you are tired of constantly patching the problem and you're looking for a long-term solution that you can both feel and see for yourself, then a NUCA office is the right place for you. Once the foundation has been fixed, then we'll teach you how to keep it that way through customized recommendations designed for your spine so that the problem doesn't come back. What do you have to lose? Call today to schedule your complimentary consultation. If you call during the hour, we'll give you a $100 gift certificate to use towards your first visit. No questions asked. No commitments, just a conversation to see if we can help. Two convenient locations in Boca Raton and West Palm Beach. Call Keystone Chiropractic today and end your days of suffering with chronic pain. Call us at 561-247-0044. Check out the website, HealYourselfRadio.com. That's HealYourselfRadio.com. Welcome back to Heal Yourself Radio. This is Dr. Jonathan Chung, as always, with my partner in crime, Dr. Gregory Jean Pierre. And today we've been covering a couple of topics. We've been talking about healthcare in the United States, or sick care in the United States, for better terminology. And we've also been talking about TMJ. So, one of the things that people always want to know is you know, this NUCA procedure that we do in our office, you know, it seems like this almost like a wonder drug to people when we describe it because it can help so many people with so many varying conditions, including TMJ. So let's take a couple moments and explain to some of our newer listeners, you know, what is NUCA and how can it impact people in the way that we say it does? NUCA. NUCA stands for the National Upper Cervical Chiropractic Association. The NUCA procedure really balances out the skull, spine, and pelvis back to its upright, stable position. That takes pressure off the nervous system and allows the body to gently restore itself and its ability to heal itself. Now, um, traditional chiropractors does get patients well, but typically the results are limited and temporary. To the NUCA correction, we are able to provide more permanent lasting result because we go in straight to the source of the problem. And the way the body works, biomechanically speaking, whenever you have any kind of trauma, injury, fall, or anything like that, force always travel to the path of least resistance. The atlas bone is a two ounce bone, and on top of that is the skull. So the, when you um, get a force going into your body, it goes and knocks that atlas out of position, but 
the special thing about the atlas is that part of the brain called the brainstem actually sits there. That little part is where every signal <laughs> coming from the brain has to get through to get to the rest of the body and vice versa. So I usually refer to that as the fuse box. Okay. So if you come home today and you turn on all the lights and all the switch in your house and none of the lights comes comes on, you don't waste your time going to every light bulb trying to change the light bulb. You go to the fuse box and check to see what the fuse is. So the, as nuka doctors, that's what we do. When you come with various symptoms such as you know some of the things that we see in your office, um, and I have a list, list here that I've seen, allergies arthritis, asthma, you know, fever, uh, cold, um, headaches, or any of this, high blood pressure, uh, Tourette syndrome. I mean, some of these things are not things that you would think of um, going to a chiropractor for, but because we're going straight to the fuse box and releasing pressure off the brainstem, the body is naturally able to heal itself. And for our li newest listeners, we're not talking about that the nuca correction can actually cure anything. And as a matter of fact, we typically say that the nuca correction doesn't cure anything. We don't cure anything. The only thing that we do is release interference to allow the body to do what it was designed to do and pretty much 90% of the time the body actually does that because the body is a self-healing, self-adapting and self-regulating mechanism. So I wanted to talk about some of the main differences between the NUCA procedure and you know traditional chiropractic. So traditional chiropractic you're generally working with someone that's going through and assessing the entire spine and will probably adjust most of the different segments in the spine from your lower back all the way up into your neck and then some. Yes, with NUCA, we're really only going to put an intervention in the head and neck because your head and neck are the cornerstone or the keystone for how the rest of the body moves. So the rest of your body is going to twist and turn into compensations based on what your head and neck are doing. Mm -hmm. So if we could get your head and neck straight, then your shoulders are going to line up, the pelvis is going to line up, and then everything else is typically going to stack up pretty well like mm -hmm. dominoes. The next thing is, you know, the force of a nuca correction is dramatically different compared to a traditional chiropractic adjustment. Most people, when they think about a traditional chiropractic adjustment, they think about someone with a lot of force, they're going to associate with a lot of popping, cracking, and twisting, and there's a lot of people that are afraid of that. So even though chiropractic, in a, even in its traditional sense, is a very safe procedure and people do great with it, a lot of people are just very apprehensive about having their neck touched in that way. With the nuca protocol, because we take such detailed, precise x-rays in three dimensions, we could actually go in there and use leverage rather than force. So just going in and just being in the right direction, the right path at the right time, you know, most people feel almost nothing during a nuca correction compared to a traditional chiropractic adjustment. Yeah, and I, I, that's, that's one thing we always have to address because the majority of my patient, when they come in, and um, we, I mean, we're so precise on the things that we do, take the x-rays, do the, do the scan, and really figure out what's going on. And then they, they, they lay on the table and we do the adjustments. like, wait, uh, are you done? Even though there's a lot of things that goes into the adjustment, the adjustment itself feels uh, like nothing. It's very gentle. But again, the atlas is so delicate. And there's a reason why there's only 300 doctors in the entire world that do what we do. It takes a while to, to be able to do that kind of adjustment. And by doing that, we are able to gently uh, overcome the resistance of, of the misalignment to bring that back into position. But the results speak for themselves. And a lot of well, not a lot of people, pretty much majority of the people that come in, in my office, they're all skeptical because they've all tried everything else. They've been to traditional chiropractors. They've been to their medical doctors. They literally tried everything. So they come here because they've heard us here or they have a friend or family member that experienced it. So they come in with a lot of skepticism. And I know as a patient myself, when I first started, it was like, this guy's doing nothing. But again, it speaks for itself. As you get off the table within a few adjustments or a month or so, you start feeling the changes and the body starts responding. And then it's like, oh, okay, that that so, something's definitely going on. Yeah, something's different, and it's funny because I usually have to tell people before um, they get an adjustment during our consultation is like, listen, chances are you're going to be more upset with me about the fact that I'm not doing enough to you than whether or not I'm going to hurt you, and that's because you know when you're feeling what a nuclear adjustment feels like you know it can be very subtle and people think oh I don't know if this is gonna do anything but a lot of people feel changes pretty quickly because they'll notice like wow 
the way that I'm standing is completely different or a wave of relief will actually come into them within the first couple of adjustments and then they think, wow, this is definitely something that I haven't experienced before. And a lot of it just goes back to the fact that <clears throat> when you're working with the master control center of your entire body, the brainstem, then you have an impact on every single structure that's connected to it. Right. And th this is, um, you know, when we talk about earlier, um, the healthcare system that we talk about. Now, when you present to your doctor's office with whatever, um, here's the the way they figure out what's going on. You come up with something, you come in with something, the very first thing we do is drug it. If it doesn't work, then we numb it. If that doesn't work, we chemically relax it. And then if that doesn't work, then we artificially lower it. When nothing else works, guess what? You don't need it, let's remove it. So they start removing parts because things, it's like, you know what, you don't need your gallbladder, you were born with extra parts, you don't need your, they start removing things. Versus when you come in your office, we really want to focus on the cause, and the nuca correction does just that. By removing the interference in this uh, a term subluxation, which we we'll talk about in great length next time, we are able to allow the body to gently heal itself over time. And I think that's a great segue because we got to wrap up our show now, yeah. but uh, definitely tune in next week because we are oh, going to we're going to be t talking a lot about you know the history of chiropractic, how Nuka evolved of it, and really how this whole thing came together and where chiropractic really should fit not only into the pain patients' health yeah. system but really into a family's health. Well, family is great because I tell a lot of my patients that I adjust my, my children on um, day one. And a lot of times, well, why? I mean, I didn't adjust them because they had back pain, neck pain, headache. You got to understand the, the chiropractic world or the NUCA procedure. It's not about pain at all. It's about making sure that your body's working at, at the optimum level. It's about making sure there's no interference to allow the body to heal itself. And we'll get deep into that next week. So stay tuned. And we'll catch you next Thursday, 5 to 6 o'clock and tune in at HealYourselfRadio.com. Yes, tell all your friends because this is going to be the place to be next week. Have a wonderful holiday weekend. Um, be safe out there, and we'll talk to you next Thursday. Join Dr. Jonathan Chung and Dr. Greg Jean-Pierre each week on the Heal Yourself Radio Show every Thursday at 5 p.m. Listen each week as they interview leading health experts to provide you with comprehensive and natural solutions to make your body work at its best and solve chronic health problems. Right here on 1470 AM, the Health and Wealth Network. The opinions expressed.